why I think I fight. Do I enjoy it? No. Do I enjoy training? No. Do I enjoy cutting weight? No. Am I nervous? Yes. Do I think to myself, what am I doing? Yes. Completely. Unfortunately, it's one of those things you're either born with or you're not. And the only way I can explain it, to try and make it make any sense, is that if I'm not doing something which is either extremely difficult or extremely stressful, I'm in a perpetual state of crippling boredom. I can't explain it. I see other people live their lives and they're like, oh, I can't wait for the weekend because I want to watch this movie. I think who cares about a movie? You're looking forward to the weekend for a movie? Looking forward to the weekend to get drunk? Like these things to me are so mundane. They mean nothing. And if I don't fight, if I'm not in a situation where I'm stressed or worried or concerned, I'm just perpetually bored. And boredom's crippling. If you're an intelligent person and you've got a good brain on your shoulders, you can't just sit there bored, you know? So most smart people take the academic route to avoid boredom. They learn, 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 but that's never really interested me either. Although I've always been an intelligent guy and I've always done well academically, it, was, it never really interested me. And then I see people climb out Everest or jump off buildings or do base jumping or the guy who jumped from space. People think, what's he doing? He's crazy. I understand. Because some people can't live normal lives. Some people cannot just function, nine to five office job, get drunk at the weekends. That is not for some individuals and it's not for me. So I have to find something which keeps me physically tired enough to stop me going AWOL. And I've chosen fighting because without this, when I'm not in training, I wake up every day and think, okay, what am I gonna do today? It's 9 a.m. on Tuesday, I'm bored. Everyone's at work, I'm bored. And I'll end up doing something crazy. I'll either end up drunk or in bored on the Eurostar, or, you know, it's just, it's just a random lifestyle because I'm constantly looking for never-ending entertainment and it doesn't exist. Every day is an opportunity for you to start taking control of your life and fulfilling your destiny. Paying attention to your inner voice, not the voice of that fucking dumbass Mr. Resistance. You think that successful people have some lucky charm. Well, let me tell you something. I woke up this morning and I couldn't find my fucking lucky charm. I and other successful people wake up every day doing the same thing, fighting. Fighting back against the distractions, the fears, the doubts. And we learn over time, we build into a habit to spend more time having control instead of more time being out of control. It does matter. It mattered last night when you laid down and you put your head on a pillow. You were gonna get up this morning and you were gonna make it matter. Everything you did today, we're going to do today, was going to have a purpose behind it, it was going to matter. Don't Fail yourself today. Don't fail yourself today. My kickboxing coach used to say to me, I used to come in the gym, say, what do you hate the most? And I said, I hate running. He said, okay, you're going running. He said, why? He goes, because whatever you hate is what you need. Whatever you hate is what you need. I wanted to spar, bag work, pads, no problem. Running, I didn't want to run, but that's what you need. And that's what life's about. You're not gonna be able to go through life avoiding pain and also becoming a man of quality. Name a single attribute for masculinity, which is gonna come from a, a place other than trauma or pain. I talk about this all the time. People say I've had a traumatic life. I say, well, then you're very, very fortunate. You had a traumatic life. Now you may have misused that trauma. You may have misplaced it. You may have accepted the matrix telling you that you now have an excuse to fail as opposed to using it to grow. But every single man of value went through trauma and they went through pain. It's gonna be painful to get strong, painful to get rich, painful to become important, it's going to be painful to become good with women. Your heart's going to get broken a bunch of times. You have to be prepared for the pain. If you're not ready for pain, you're never going to be anything that matters. You're going to have to be that guy who's been through so much shit that he can wake up and go, this ain't nothing. This, this ain't nothing compared to back then. This ain't nothing compared to that time. 
you know? And if you're not going to be that guy, then you're going to always suffer the consequences of not being that guy. There's pain to become important and there's pain in not being important. So you have to make a choice. You need to find something you're afraid of, find something that could hurt you and go do it. This is another thing where it comes back to motivation and discipline. I want, I want to really stress the difference between those two things. I was a four-time kickboxing world champion. For 12 years, I trained five hours a day, six days a week. And I was motivated to train probably about 25% of the time. Mm -hmm. The rest of the time I went because I am disciplined. But that is the bottom line answer. It's discipline. You're going to have to work when you don't feel like working. That's how it's going to have to be. Or you're never going to be eating. One of the only things in this world you can control is your state of mind. You can't control the weather. You can't control other people. You can't even control your health. You might get a brain hemorrhage. Or you might get hit by a bus. You might get assassinated. One of the very few things in the world you have genuine control over is your state of mind. You decide if you're a disciplined person. You decide if you're a happy person. You, that in real time, you can affect in your brain. This is all you can control on Earth. If you can't control that, then you're just a feather in the wind and life's going to blow you around and you might land somewhere good. You might land in dog shit. Nobody knows. You're, you have no will. Then you're just at the whims of the earth. Who knows? You're going to watch something on TV and they're going to tell you something and you're going to believe it. And you're going to march and hold the sign. and blah, blah. You're going to be a, you're going to be an idiot. Yeah. Your state of mind is what you should be able to control. If you can't wake up and say, today I'm making some money and actually try your very, very best and actually stay dedicated to that task. If you can't do that, you're fine. I think the only thing that could stop me fighting is if I had enough money to constantly entertain myself. Unless I'm a billionaire, I need something that keeps me focused and keeps me occupied in life. The fighting, I have to train twice a day and I have to train hard. And the stress, can be, the stress it brings in every aspect can replace fun. And my mind is occupied. It occupies me. It's the only way I can try and explain it. It occupies me. And I could never stop doing this even if I lost 100 fights because I'm not built to live a normal existence. I can't do it. I couldn't just have a kid with some girl and sit at home work a little bit and relax. I've never relaxed in my entire life. I don't know what relaxing is. It's just not me.